Hi, this is Danny from the Nintendo K channel. I'd like to welcome you guys to this really interesting episode where I'm going to be discussing about this uh, D-pad controller for from uh, for Nintendo Switch from Hori. Um, it's actually interesting because the fact that if you guys um, definitely have a Nintendo Switch, you notice that this is an emphasis here for the D-pad here, for the directional pad. Um, and the Nintendo Switch doesn't have a dedicated directional pad. It's just a, a four directional buttons and they don't really function the same way as a regular D-pad if you find like on NES or Super Nintendo and various systems of Nintendo's generation. So it's a little bit of departure and many people who like myself who played fighting games or uh, arcade games of the past, this is an option for you guys. So this is, I thought it'd be an interesting episode, especially that I, when I saw this, I, I had to get it because you guys know me, I love Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is one of the best games on the Nintendo Switch. And to see a design on a Joy-Con looks phenomenal. Of course, just remember, this is not a called a Joy-Con, that, that the trademark belongs to Nintendo, but this is a Hori uh, licensed product by Nintendo. So it is an officially sponsored product for, by Nintendo, developed by Hori. Um, so if you guys look at the package itself, you can see that this is for handheld mode only so there's a particular reason for that i'll discuss that in a bit so i'm going to get right into it open it up and show you guys what this controller looks like and how it feels all right so pulling it out and you're greeted to a, a package that looks uh, very protected and on the bottom is an instruction manual so you can see uh, if you're curious to see how it works this will tell you everything but i think it's, it should be self-explanatory as we go um, so i'm going to take this apart taking out the packaging you can see right away the design shows really well. The black on gold looks phenomenal. I'm very loving the design. And when I picked it up, I just noticed that the weight difference is uh, unlike a regular Joy-Con. So I'm gonna have one right next to it to guys give us a base of comparison here. So this is the left Joy-Con with the Hori uh, D-pad here. Um, there's a couple of things that I want to mention that obviously the weight is one thing, but the, the look, uh, the, the, the shape of it is identical. So the size should be identical because you can, I'm flipping onto the side here. These are the SL, SR buttons. These are actually, doesn't look like they're buttons. Um, so uh, you won't be able to use this as uh, by itself because this is one of the things, the weight shows that it has less tech in this controller. It doesn't have rumbling. So that's one weight difference. Another thing is the fact that it doesn't have uh, power. There's no battery in there. So there is no slot to insert a battery to power this up. This, the Joy-Con does have a built-in uh, lithium ion battery to, for a recharge, but this one does need some constant power. And that's where a, you know, being connected to a Nintendo Switch continuously to be operated is very crucial. And so a handheld mode is a must for this controller. So it's a very niche product. Because of that, you do need um, you know, the, the Nintendo Switch all the time to play it. So you can't just play games independently like you were having a Joy-Con holding your hands and, and play it uh, in, in hand-free mode or even using a uh, Nintendo Switch Joy-Con grip. That cannot it not be an option for this controller, just to give you guys a heads up on that. Um, but the thing is, it does have every button that you find on the regular Joy-Con. The button here to select the menu or start a game, uh, analog joystick feels exactly the same. So I like the fact that attention to detail to analog joystick was really uh, put into it. So it has a clicky feel in case you're wondering. Um, the, uh, the buttons here for the, uh, the directional button feels really well. Uh, it does have a nice tactile feel to it. And this is my first time experimenting. This is my first time actually feeling the control in hand. Um, the camera button here is also available. So you guys want to continue taking those snapshots when you play those games is a, an option. This here, again, I was saying is no button. This is not a button. The reason why is it does have to be connected to a Nintendo Switch all the time and it'll be synced right away when you do so. On the back side, you notice that it's very simplistic, same thing. Um, there is still a button there to release it from Nintendo Switch when you uh, dock it into the system. There is a little bit raised uh, angle here, if you guys can see that, versus the regular Joy-Con. But L, the L button and also the ZL button uh, looks and feels identical. So really nice on that. On the, on the side here, nothing too special, but uh, you can see it does have a nice exact shape as the regular Joy-Con. So yeah, I also want to mention that uh, Hori also is releasing a Super Mario uh, theme of this controller. So this, although this is the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild theme, there's actually if fans out there for Mario, this may be an option for you. I'm gonna connect it to the Nintendo Switch for reference so you guys get an idea how it looks, so there you go. 
Um, I like the, the fact that the Nintendo Switch system is in black. And the only thing is, is obviously we have the blue and red Joy-Con for the Nintendo Switch, so it may not match up too well. So hopefully down the line, maybe Hori would release a right side, so give that nice all black look to match with the Zelda design. And maybe, you know, it doesn't have to be anything special, but I, I would like to have it like color coordinated. Um, so flipping to the back side, give you guys a little look of how that, how that goes. Again, you see it blends very well with the system, but the colorful Joy-Cons may not uh, be perfect for this design and look. This is for a specific audience who likes to play fighting games. I like to play, like for myself, is Street Fighter, Third Anniversary Collection, Ultra Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers, other fighting games I just recently got, like SNK Heroines, Tag Team Frenzy, uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, and then Blade Strangers. Those are a few games that I always play on the Hori Fight Stick, but uh, you know, sometimes I would just want to grab my Nintendo Switch and grab it and go, so that wouldn't be an option. So the this uh, D-pad controller may, may be a viable option that I want to have very good tactile uh, way to make perform my moves. And the thing is, with these buttons, you can't really perform it all too well. This is the way to go when you want to perform those complex combos and strategies when you play these fighting games. So that's my suggestion. Also, Arcade Archives, any of the classic 2D games in the library in Nintendo eShop, that is a great, this is also a great way to play them as well. So leave me down below in the comments what are your thoughts of this controller. I'm really interested to hear what you always have to say. Uh, consider this controller, maybe, uh, maybe for you, and I'd like to hear that. So uh, appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to Nintendo Kid, that's always helpful. Don't forget to hit the bell button for more episodes like this coming your way. I'm Danny at the Nintendo Kid channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.